So this is the fourth session for most of you, I think. And we're going to um, talk about, we're going to extend the stuff we did last week to look at multiple comparison tests and statistical power. So last week, um, if you remember, we had a group of clone troopers and storm troopers. But we did this experiment to answer or begin to answer the research question, are the physical characteristics of stormtroopers different from those of Republic clone troopers? And if you remember, we, we used a t-test. We, we looked at our data, we visualized it, uh, and when we, when we looked at it, we said, well, the heights weren't, that, weren't different. Um, but there was a statistically significant difference in the uh, stormtrooper weight compared to the clone trooper weight. And, and, and then we sort of did a little bit of a discussion as to why, or we tried to generate a little bit of discussion around that, as you would in a, a paper or a thesis. So to get us into the swing of things this morning, let's think again about why we might see a difference in the weight of stormtroopers uh, versus clone troopers. Why are they different? Do we have any immediate thoughts on this very important subject? I think we did discuss them. Does anyone recall any of the thoughts we had last week about why you might have a difference um, you might have found this difference in weight. I'll start it off then. The perhaps uh, Imperial stormtroopers undergo a different regime of training compared to Republic clone troopers. Maybe. Maybe one group of people has different training compared to another group. Perhaps. Any other reasons that you might have different weights for two groups of people? Ignore the Star Wars analogy if that confuses you. Sorry? Okay, diet. Diet, nutrition. Any other advances on diet and nutrition or things that could uh, impact weight? Sorry? Sorry. Oh, the armor. Yeah, I, yeah, it could be. Yeah, so something could could. Pardon? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Exercise. Are there other factors that affect people's weight? Genetics. So there could be some genetic variation. Um. Other things? This is really just to get us thinking at, I know it's half nine in the morning. Things like stress, could they, stress can be implicated in weight. Um, anyway, I, so those, those are some of those, those, some ideas. What I'd meant to do is write them down as we went, so we had a record of them. So I'll put my one down first, stress. A diet, training, an armour. So already from a really simple pretend research study, we have some thoughts in our discussion as to what might have caused the results that we observed. But can we tell from our initial research what whether any of these are implicated. No, we don't really have any idea. So the great thing is we've now formed a bunch of new research questions to, and a new direction for our research. So perhaps, in fact, so someone mentioned genetics, perhaps, in fact, they're not even all clones. Perhaps we have 
to remember the all the stormtroopers and clone troopers should all be identical. They're all genetic copies of one individual, incidentally named Django Fett. But perhaps some non clones have infiltrated, or perhaps there's some, been some genetic variation. And so I'm going to propose that we could undertake uh, some kind of genetic comparison through some uh, sequence in the DNA. But we all know that's an expensive and time-consuming process. And due to uh, budgetary constraints within the Galactic Empire, which is undergoing a galactic recession, we're looking for a low-cost option. And someone pipes up and says, well, how about forensic odontology? And maybe that's because they think dentists are really cheap especially forensic dentists, perhaps that's a lower cost option. So then we have, I propose, some form of modified research question. Well, our, fir our first piece of research was predicated on this assumption that all of the, clo all of the stormtroopers and clones are, uh, and Republic clones are all clones, they're all from the same genetic background or same genetic template. And now we're suggesting, well, maybe we need to question that initial assumption that underlies that piece of research. And so we're starting to question that by asking, are all of the current stormtroopers actually clones? Seems a reasonable question. Well, within the Star Wars context. So uh, we start up the Joint Empire Detection Initiative. For those of those initiated within Star Wars, I hope you like the acronym. And this seeks to detect non-clone stormtroopers operating within the joint armed forces across the Galactic Empire. Basically, we're trying to find some differences in individuals in a group. And we've heard that dental measurements are one way of doing this, so we're going to have a go and see, see what we can find, find out. And we want to, so what we want to do is we want to compare the dental arch of serving stormtroopers with their genetic father, Django Fett. So Django Fett's this individual here, mean looking guy, um, and the uh, Mandalorian bounty hunter. Quickly search for that. And so we're going to compare their dental arch with his, because obviously being the template for everyone, we kept lots and lots of records. So we need to come up with some kind of null hypothesis. There is no difference. Between stormtrooper um, dentition and that of Django Fett. Something like that. Seems reasonable, something we could possibly test. But if we, if we fail to find, or if we do start to find differences, um, what might our alternative hypothesis be? Do you want there is a difference between all storm, stormtroopers and Django Fett, or there is a difference between at least one stormtrooper and that Django Fett. You get to choose in making your research up, or in deciding what way you're going to direct your research. But the, the point of the, these hypotheses is we need to be specific because we want to, we're making a specific test of something. So you don't want it to be vague. Uh, so, let's just say, so it's not just there is a difference. And you could also state in your alternative it could be directional. So you could say um, it, they are greater or they are less than. So I'm going I'm to say for mine there is a difference between at least one stormtrooper and Django Fett. 
because really I want to find out if there are differences in this in this population from the 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 original genetic template. And my way of testing that is going to be by comparing the dental arch with um, with Django fat. 